Hello everybody. I'm doing a case today by special request from a channel subscriber from Australia who asked me to cover a case that I am actually very familiar with and it's the Gable Tosti case and I want to give a special shout out to Jason Harris and all of the people tuning in from Australia who have followed this case over the past few years and Gable Tosti was a 30 year old playboy who lived in a high rise in Surfer's Paradise which is in the Gold Coast of Australia and he enjoyed the nightlife. He laid carpet for a living and he lived near all the bars and the beach and he used Tinder uh, to date at the time. He was single and he enjoyed the nightlife of the Gold Coast of Australia. Around 8.45 p.m. on August 7th, he decided to go on a date with a woman by the name of Warina Wright. So we see them pictured here and they met at a shopping mall. You know, then they decided to go to like a convenience store and then they decided to walk back to Gable Toasty's apartment. And so they decided to walk back to his apartment. They have them on surveillance video here. And this was around like 8.45 p.m. So around 2 a.m. they were drinking some moonshine and uh, Gable said that um, Warina, his date for the night, just started to get intoxicated. They were drinking moonshine and he said she was just getting unruly. And this picture here of the rocks that she was throwing at him, they're scattered around. And then 2.15, he had to restrain her. And then he, he says that he restrained her and put her on the balcony. And he, he kind of regrets that decision. They asked why he didn't ask her to leave. But, you know, there's also a three-hour audio of this event. So it says that she was hitting him with this a telescope mounting tool. And he said that she was hitting him with that. So that's why... She, he put her on the balcony. So you see here that they have some pictures of themselves from the night and some better moments when before things spiraled out of control. So at 2.20 a.m., Warina Wright falls 14 floors to her death and then Gable Tosti calls his lawyer immediately after that and it goes to voicemail. Then at 2.26 a.m., Gable takes the elevator down. He's been criticized for going to go get pizza. At 3.10 a.m., he wanders around and goes and gets some pizza. Obviously, they figure out what apartment is his and ask him some questions. So the biggest questions that I have is, why did he go get pizza after after Warina fell from his apartment balcony, why did he go get pizza? And he says he was very drunk and very hungry. He said there was nothing happy or indulgent about it. That's what he told 60 Minutes Australia. And then also another question that many people have is if Gable wanted Warina to leave, why didn't he ask her to leave through the front door? And then he said he never thought she would fall off of the balcony. 60 Minutes Australia asked, why did he record the conversation throughout the night? And he said, he doesn't have the best memory. And in this day and age, why wouldn't you record it? And he said, what happened on August 8th was a perfect example of why you would need to record the night as it happens. Because some of the footage, some of the footage he claims that she was attacking him. And I believe that that's what got him acquitted of this crime. So... Gable Tosti was found not guilty on October 26th of 2016. He changed his name to Eric Thomas and joined Tinder again. I have some updates about Gable Tosti, actually known as Eric Thomas now. February of 2019, police and paramedics were called to his home in February of 2019 over a disturbance. Then on December 31st of 2019, a New Year's Eve date Turns out when a frightened 28 year old woman phoned police to report a disturbance at her home on at 4.15 a.m. 
Another alarming uh, new, new development from Gable Tosti, also known as Eric Thomas, April of 2021, police say that Tosti was with a woman and her 12-year-old daughter at the Legends Hotel in Servers Paradise around 4.30 a.m. when emergency services were called to the building. Sources say the girl called triple zero to report her mother was threatening to jump off the 10th floor hotel room and Tosti was trying to stop her. The woman was locked in the hotel bathroom when police and paramedics arrived. And this source is according to the New Zealand Herald. Thank you guys so much for listening to my analysis of this Gable Tosti case. I really hope to keep you guys informed of any new developments in this case and I hope you enjoyed me covering this interesting case from Australia. I hope to do more cases. Let me know if there's any that you would want me to cover and tell me what you think about this this case. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.